Well, good morning. A little bit of a late start today. It's 8:12 right now. Daylight was like 45 minutes ago, and I just wasn't feeling it this morning at all. But we got here. Had to do a little bit of a couple of repairs to the boat. Nothing major. So now let's get out there and try to find us some bass. I'm up the Seneca River arm today. We're gonna go as far up the Seneca as we can go. So let's go see what happens. been off that is a good one. that is the kind right there 15 of those and we're going to the all-american basically I've had to get out of the boat three times so far because I've been getting stuck so I had the camera off because I did not think I was going to catch any back here because when I finally got over the flat there's only one tiny little bank that looks like a fish will be on it, and it's this one. So I'm sure there's a bunch of them here, but it's too much work to get in here. And I don't think, even if the waterfall is like six inches, I can't get in here. So let's try to bust a couple more in here, just give them a sore mouth, because we can't make it back in here. I guess there is a lot of them in here though. If they're watered up like that, we might come in here. Cause I would I would come in here for them too. Even though those ain't big ones, I'd still I'd make the trek for that. Big large mouth. Man, it's getting to be fall and they're eating these dang jackhammer chatter baits, dude. God, if you want. So, this is what I'm throwing is just a clear water set shad jackhammer chatter bait. I've got like 20 of them ordered up because I order them from Sportsman's Outfitters and they're cheaper. So I order a lot of them and keep them stocked up because they're cheaper on there. So check out Sportsman's Outfitters. You're going to save some money on jackhammer chatterbaits. So what happened right there, whenever I set the hook, I hit him on the tree and killed him. Or at least he's having a seizure right now. Don't know, I, didn't, I don't like doing that. I don't like killing fish, but you know, there's nothing I can really do about that. Well, we've been, <clears throat> well, we've been fishing for about three hours now. Um, caught two good ones, another keeper. I think keepers in large mouth are 12 inches. I don't know for sure, but I caught a 14 or 15 incher. And then just had a, 11 incher that I actually I thought I killed him but he just sat in the water and kind of shook for a second and then he swam off so good thing he didn't die but on the hook set I just set the hook up and pulled him up in there and he hit his head on the tree so I don't guess that just happened from time to time last two times I fished Hartwell I've had that exact same thing happen but what y'all have not seen is I've gotten out of the boat three times today because I've gotten stuck on sandbars so probably need to stop going trying to go back so far but I went over a sandbar to catch those two good ones and that other keeper out of, off that one freaking rock so i don't know we're just gonna try to find enough stuff to string together at least 10 fish make it to day three that
I'll take that. It's just a little one, but it's a fish. Slowly might be dialing it in a little. It's kind of tough, but we're starting to get some bites anyways. Found a decent area anyways, I believe. So, I will. I like the way it's headed. Little bitty one, man. Tiny little cigar spot. Little thing. I need some four pounders. Oh, man. I've had four bites this size back in this pocket. I've gotta find one of these pockets with three pounders. <laughs> So I know y'all couldn't see what I just saw, but basically this swim bait was hanging outside of the fish's mouth like that and three other bass, about the same size, bit the head of the swim bait. It was crazy. So I've got back in this little back of this cut. Wasn't planning on fishing stuff like this, but I've seen a ton of big gizzard shad, some small spots, and like 15 small non-keeper bass. So we're going to try to find one of these. It's got some big ones in it. So check this out. i got to hold the trolling motor up. And it's dead because we've been out here for 15 hours. We've been out here for 12 hours. Got to hold the trolling motor up to make it over this flat. The boat's not scrubbing at all. It's just the trolling motor wheel. So I could reach down there and unscrew it and slide it up. But we're just going to hold it. Been holding it for like three hours today probably. I've held it up like this. Finally found one of them good brush piles. What else can I put on this car? Uh, I have menu the day we took the troll motor and then I have Got me one drop shot. That was a tiny one, a little bitty one.
get me hung up though. That's a good known old wacky rig. That close to a three pounder, two and three quarters. It's a good one. So I watched him come up and eat it. I had the camera on, so I turned it on real quick. Whenever he was fighting, that's how he got hung up because I reached back, turned the camera on. But there was about five in that brush pile. He was the biggest. was I really really downsized I actually rigged this up like a shaky head on a net head wake and now I've had three bites that one was like a 14 incher the other one like a two pounder and I have not been able to hook any of them because the hook is too small so I think a bigger hook I'll get less bites but we have to do it got a jig bite under a dock it ain't been easy like a long time I've been here and I ain't got a bite under a dock Whoop. that was one he felt like a big one too gotten out of the boat six times or seven times today to push this sucker because it gets so shallow I tell you what a Ranger is a heavy boat rides really really good and you can tell there's some weight to it whenever you're riding but you really notice the weight when you're back in a creek and there's current pushing you and the rear end stuck on some of that suctiony mud I never hit anything hard at all today but there's this mud stuff that's really suctiony and whenever you get stuck on it, it like holds the boat down onto it. And it's all you can do to get it to pop up. But there's some fish back there behind that mud. If you can get back there, it's just uh, kind of tough right now. So either way, we're about done. We uh, got a little bit of a late start today. So we worked overtime, stayed all day. It's dark now. I'm going to make it back to the ramp. Probably take me another 10 minutes or so. I got a, I got a trolling motor for probably five more. And then uh, we can crank up and get back to Miss Hunter, who should be sitting there with something to eat. So this was the whatever day of practice this is we got one more day of practice after this and then the tournament so go ahead and hit that subscribe button because the tournament footage hopefully will be awesome caught, caught some good weight today y'all didn't see but i had another three pounder eat a chatterbait that i just missed and uh, i actually had i was popping a leaf off right on the surface and when it hit the top of the of the water a three pounder rolled all over it so didn't get that one but caught three threes and then a two, couple to two and a half so anyways good day for sure Let's go get something to eat and find Miss Hunter. I don't know if I made an intro today, but we're at the ramp now to leave. It is daggum hot. I'm tired. Man, it's tough. But learned a few things. Got a couple backwater places we're going to try to get into, catch some early. Been some pretty good quality in there as well. And then after that, I have found some brush piles. The shallower stuff seems to be better. You know, you find some brush piles in four to six foot. Seems to be fish on it. Um, that could all change on day two and it does seem like clear water the fish get are shallower than the stained water which doesn't make a ton of sense but that is how it seemed this week so basically I get in this super clear water and I'll just see them swimming down the bank like some cruisers so if we catch a limit tomorrow <clears throat> tomorrow's day one if we got a limit for decent weight we're going to go sight fishing for cruisers because I've seen quite a few four and five pounders swimming 
a lot of pound and a halfers, but quite a few fours or something like that. So if we catch us 12 or 13 pounds, we're going to try to catch some four and five. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All the fish here are so white. It's a good one. How big is he? Uh, 211. Mm, maybe. That's a freaking big one. Man, freaking twenty dollar cheddar right too. back one. It's good anyways. He's got a sore on his eye. A star on his eye. Well, day one of the BFL Regional starts tomorrow. Look at all this stuff. That's all the stuff I'm taking out of the boat. We're going super shallow tomorrow. So we gotta get that all the weight out we can possibly get. I asked my co-angler, please pack light. Don't know if he's gonna do it or not, but we hope he will. We gotta squeeze over a couple sandbars, get back in there and fish some of that current, and then uh, go fish some of them brush piles, some of them sight fish. That's all we can do right now. So, see y'all in the morning.